morning everyone so today we're gonna do our wrong ride towards Como so now I'm in Milano actually at the end of the uh, second line we call it M2 uh, metro line so around the area is called uh, Bichilia so it's it's almost around the um, southwest of uh, Milan I'm gonna head towards north and we're gonna have a climb around one of those famous climbs in Como uh, one of those walls, that they call it Muro, uh, and I think the ride will take around 130 kilometers, and we're gonna have more than 2,000 meters of elevation. So one of the good things about Italy that I totally miss was that you can easily get one of the, one of the best coffees in the world, even in those gas stations. Look at this. Oh man, I love this country. I miss it so much. Actually, I used to live here. Um, back in the day, maybe five years ago, and then I moved to Canada. I totally miss these people and the whole vibe and the culture of this country. Today is gonna get super warm, and that's why I started early, uh, 6.30ish, and now it's seven. So I hope I'm gonna finish around noon because it's gonna get real hot, like, like around 40s. Alrighty, so it's been a few minutes that I started to get rolling. As I mentioned, today is gonna to be one of those days that you don't wanna be on the wrong side of a heat stroke. Uh, I need to make sure I'm gonna have my hydration in every hour, uh, salt as well, and then I'm, I'm, I should be on top of my calories. Uh, as I mentioned, it's not gonna be a long, long ride. It's only 130 kilometers. But it has more than 2,000 meters of elevation to reach. Actually, uh, the half of those is on the one of the climbs only. Okay, we're gonna have another ambulance coming. <laughs> yeah, so I was mentioning, uh, today's ride won't be a long, long one. It's only 130 kilometers. But the fact is it has more than 2,000 meters of elevation. And almost half of those is within 10 kilometers of one of those major climbs in Como. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it, is, yeah, it was called Colpa di Sormano. Uh, it's on the northeastern side of beautiful Lake Como. Funny fact is I used to live in Como, 2010. And back, back in the day, I never thought I would come back and then be a cyclist doing the climbs. I used to only play tennis at a time. Anyway, that's another story. Uh, I was lucky I found this beautiful uh, Cannondale uh, Synapse R5 and it's actually a good choice for me because it gives me a variety of gear options. 48 in the front definitely is going to help me in the climbs today and I'll see how I can handle it. I don't want to push too much on the climbs, maybe I'm only taking it, I don't know, at 250 or 270 watts and then I'll take it from there. So we have, uh, we've had already 12 to 15 kilometers in and it's pretty flat. We have started from Milan, as I mentioned, uh, southwest uh, and then we are heading towards northwest. Uh, so we're gonna arrive in Como in maybe uh, two hours and all of the climbs are starting actually from the kilometer 50 or, 50, uh, or 60th. Now I'm heading towards northwest. Uh, 30 kilometers in, uh, we passed a bunch of small towns and like uh, North of Milan, there are a bunch of very beautiful small towns like Seviso and we're almost uh, pretty close to Saronno, which is a bigger one in the middle of uh, Milan and Como. But the fact is, most of the road was flat. I mean, there are very minor uh, undulations, but you just uh, let you know uh, the status. I've gone 30 kilometers and only 100 meters of elevation. So the rest of 1800 meters is left to be done in a compact 10 15 kilometer stretch. So I gotta have to 
pace myself and stay on top of my vibration otherwise that's one of the days uh, that I'm gonna pay and it's eight it's almost a quarter to nine the the heat is still okay it hasn't gone up above 30 so that's still manageable I just want to make sure when I arrive in Como it's still uh, sort of around that temperature because it's if you'll hit uh, 40 plus, I mean, I'm not that kind of guy that can climb, let alone at 40 degrees. So we'll see. So to tell you a little bit of history about myself, I used to actually live in Italy uh, most of my 20s. I lived in Como for one year. Uh, in 2010, then I moved to Milan for uh, six, seven years. So I'm pretty familiar with the whole. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't say the whole roads, but like the, the the area and the the culture somewhat. But I'm so happy to come back as a cyclist because back in the day I didn't know what cycling was actually. <laughs> uh, all I knew was. Uh, you know, doing my studies and then uh, playing tennis. So I'm, uh, it, it's just a rebirth of myself today that I'm relieving all these, you know, uh, histories of my past years living here as another, uh, you know, some, some, somewhat as another person now. So it's really surreal. And now looking back, I see what I missed. Alright, so almost uh, 40 kilometers in, I, I'm almost made it to uh, one, of, uh, one of the other uh, bigger cities in the middle, uh, in between Milan and Como, it is called Cantu. So after passing Cantu, I'll have only maybe, maybe 10 kilometers or so to arrive in Como. Um, and then by the time I, I'll, I'll arrive at the Lake Como, Soon after that, maybe five, ten k after that, we're gonna hit the climb. Uh, so my average speed was okay, 25. I didn't push it at all, so I st staying at zone one, zone two. I conserve all the energy I have, and I was on top of my hydration. So let's see if I can handle that uh, brutal and beautiful climb. Alps. Beautiful. All right, we are like uh, 50 kilometers in, uh, just before uh, arriving in Como. So, so there are, are uh, a bunch of small cities. This one is uh, Grandate. Uh, as you see, these are beautiful. The southern uh, shoulder of uh, Alps. My, uh, my climb will start in about 10 k's or so.
Finally we are in Como. I totally miss this beautiful city. Actually I used to live in a residence like maybe 500 meters away. I'll try to see if I can stop by. Alright, there we go. I used to live in this residence 12 years ago, 2010. I was doing my master's as, as an international student in, uh, in Polytechnic University of Milan. They, they renovated the, the building. It used to be older. Alright, here we are. City center of Como. Centro Città. Okay, so we are arriving just before the start of the phase climb. And that beauty is Lake Como. Okay, so um, from here we're gonna turn right, and then uh, we're gonna have those climbs on the on the right side of uh, Lake Como. If I had time, uh, I would have done some of those on the other side, closer to the um, Switzerland border. But I don't think it's gonna be doable given the amount of time I have. I'm so excited to be back here. Beautiful. Alrighty, almost uh, 60 kilometers in. We are uh, on the right side of Lake Como and this is gonna be the first climb. So we are heading this uh, via Torno, if I'm not mistaken. On the right stretch of the Lake Como, towards uh, uh, north. So, Lake Como is right over there. And then after maybe 10, uh, 15 kilometers, uh, we're gonna hit right. And that's gonna be the first major climb of today, which is Tocpa uh, di Sormano. I got lucky today with the weather. Uh, it's not that hot. Yesterday was 40 degrees. Today probably it's going to be like 27 to 30. So, no complaints on that end. Let's see. All right, doing the second climb. Two kilometers almost. With the average gradients of uh, 47. I'm trying to stay uh, well within uh, threshold, but we're on zone 3 now. Uh, because first of all, it's gonna, it's gonna be even hotter in an hour. I just want to be more conservative. Climbs are done in uh, in 1.5 kilometer. Uh, we're gonna have the Copa uh, di Sormano, 13 kilometers, average gradients of 7%. Beautiful Lake Como. Just to start the climb. Five minutes ago. Just what can I say about this? I'll shut up and let you enjoy this.
Okay, we did three out of 13 kilometers. We're gonna hit the uh, the steepest pinches here. So they call it Muro, which is like the wall. We have t we've got two walls, and then we're gonna reach uh, Colpo di Sormano. on top of the, uh, the mountain and Lake Como is not even visible now. 